Today we're going to learn how to make equivalent fractions by using a model. Let's say we're given this model, and we're asked to write two different fractions to label it. Well, the first fraction we could write is just the one we see. In this model, there's one piece that's shaded, and there's a total of one, two, three pieces in the shape. So this is the fraction one-third. Now if we wanted a second fraction, we'll have to create an equivalent fraction. The way I do this is I take a pencil and I'll draw a line to split each piece of the model into two smaller pieces. Then I'll do that for all of the parts of this model. Now I haven't changed the amount that's shaded, so my fraction's equivalent. But now, I'll write my fraction in a different way. Because now, I have one, two shaded pieces out of a total of one, two, three, four, five, six pieces in all. So this is now the fraction two-sixths. So all you need to do to make an equivalent fraction is draw lines to break each piece of the model into smaller pieces. Here, we used one-third and two-sixths, but there are other ways you could do this as well. You could have split each piece of the model into three pieces, or maybe even four pieces. Each time, you'd get a different equivalent fraction. But we'll save all that for a later video, and we'll stick with one-third and two-sixths for now. Now that you understand how to do this, let's practice together. Let's write two fractions to label this model. Well, the first fraction could just be the fraction we see when we look at the model right now. What fraction of the model is shaded? Well, one, two, three pieces are shaded out of a total of four, so this is three-fourths. Now to make another fraction, we need to create an equivalent fraction. Describe how I could do this. To create an equivalent fraction, I draw a line and split each piece of the model into smaller pieces, just like this. Now I'll do this for all of the parts of this model. The fraction's equivalent because we haven't changed the amount that's shaded. We've just changed the way it looks. What fraction is it now? Well, the model now has six shaded pieces, and there's a total of eight pieces in the whole model. So this is six eighths. So two ways to label this model are three fourths or six eighths. Let's do another of these together. This problem is just like the other ones, but we're going to pick the two fractions from this list. First, let's label the model as we see it. What fraction is this? Well, there are two shaded pieces out of a total of three. So this is the fraction two-thirds. We can go and find two-thirds in our list of fractions, and we'll mark it off as correct. Now to find the next fraction, we have to create an equivalent fraction. Which of these shows how I could create an equivalent fraction? Remember, to create an equivalent fraction, you have to split each piece into smaller pieces. Here we've split each piece into two smaller pieces. What fraction is this now? This is now the fraction 4 sixths. So we'll go ahead and find 4 sixths in our list of fractions, and we'll mark it off as correct. Now it's time for you to practice some of these on your own. Select the two fractions that correctly label this model. Well, the first fraction is just what we see right now. This model is showing the fraction 5 sevenths. The next fraction will be the equivalent one. If we break each piece of the model into two smaller pieces, we've made an equivalent fraction. Now, 10 pieces are shaded out of a total of 14, so it's the fraction 10 fourteenths. Now here's your last problem for this video. Select the two fractions that correctly label this model. Well, the first fraction we'll find just by looking at the model and seeing that right now, two-sixths of it are shaded. The next fraction's the equivalent one. If I split each piece of the fraction into two smaller pieces, we have the equivalent fraction four twelfths. Congratulations! Now you know how to make equivalent fractions using a model. That's all for now, but stay tuned for next time.